Welcome back everyone. Again, we're going to be shooting the S510 from Air Arms in the Ultimate Sporter Edition. And switching pellets out today to the 15.89 grain JSB Exacts. Shot a lot of crony strings over it this weekend, dialing it in. Our weather was not bad, 86 degrees, and felt more about 80. Here's the feeder setup. You see the back left there is a squirrel hunter style feeder. Here's from inside the blind. Set up with the tripod and the scope cam. The crazy gilly string wrap over the gun. And here is peering out into the into the yard over to the feeders. I'm gonna show the stir lock program just because I'm zeroed in at 19 yards and my shots today are in between 22 and 25 yards actually I think both of them were 22 yards 25 is the max range in the yard here we have our first visitor to the yard one of them is a morning dove not going to shoot this animal, it is not in season, it is a game species. But this guy, on the other hand, slide over to the left, is a Eurasian dove, much larger bodied, also called a collared dove, you can see why. This is an invasive species here in Colorado and the rest of the United States. They're much more aggressive and they beat out our local native birds in nesting spots and grazing areas. They'll actually push, push the morning doves and other birds out of the yard, have the feeding all to themselves. But we'll take care of him though. Go for a high body shot on this one. Just high and left, just touch left of the wing. And he, uh, he goes down in a pretty immediate fashion. And there he goes. Face down right on his feet and platter there. I did notice a little bit of head movement and I didn't like that one bit. When we get into the next clip here you'll, you'll see how it ended out. By the end of this clip, you'll see there is no need for another shot. Get into the scope cam here. And we've just got a slight hold under. And there he goes. You do see a little bit of head bob right there and there. So go to reload the rifle. Steady back on. There is the last breath. And he is finished to push around our birds no more get into the next clip here and practice them with a uh, slow motion see what you guys think about it I believe I actually have two clips of slow motion here this is in half speed and this next clip is in one quarter speed and JSB did its job straight over on his beak We have three invasive species that are really of a concern here in the United States. The European house sparrow, the European starling, and the Eurasian collared dove. All three outcompete our native birds for nesting. Starlings and sparrows actually will kill and use other birds' nests, most of the time leaving their babies there. And rebuilding right over top. Pretty gruesome. 
They were very tough, hardy animals, and they have thrived. Now these little guys, I believe are pests also, but I do not shoot them, it's not legal. This is a house finch. They're native to California, and with the advancement of people from the east coast to west coast and towns being formed, they have moved east following populations and they destroy fruit trees and berry trees eating the blossoms before they can ripen before they can fruit but pretty songs active birds great flyers very entertaining to watch there's usually a family of them in pretty much all the time It's just a close-up and camera and obviously through the scope is much better quality and you can see the difference between the house sparrow and the house finch. And the house finch is very streaked across its chest. And the house sparrow is more bland on the belly region there. Very nimble little beaks. Maneuver them little seeds around with ease. In the neighborhood, actually just about six weeks ago, we had a huge population of house sparrows. And I uh, unfortunately took care of that problem before any of my camera gear or scope cam set up or anything was ready. I just got my rifle and it's just so eager. But the numbers have gone drastically down. I, I might see just a couple a week now compared to 10 an hour. Let's see what we have coming up here in this next clip. Ah, here's the house sparrow. There's three out there. One flies away. I take a shot on the one to the right. And uh, that 22 caliber 15 grade pellet sure does its job at 890 feet per second. Throws him right back. Get into the scope cam here. Gonna look at the one on the left. And travel back to the right. Line up. Touch hold under again. And there he goes. No need for another shot on this guy. He was royally done for. We look at the slow motion footage in this next clip. Someone with a bigger screen might be able to confer. I do not believe he drops that seed. On another note here about the house sparrow, and if you take matters into your own hand and uh, begin some pest control in your area, always go for the males. They do not care about the females, they only care about the nest. And you can shoot a female right next to her mate and he will immediately start calling for a new mate and keeping the nest. So if all, if you have the choice, go for the males. There we go, just looking over the area with the scope cam again. I find myself doing this quite often, getting familiar with from feeder to feeder, be more efficient in, in finding the pest. While I'm tracking them. Practice makes perfect, right? And this next clip, it's probably only about four minutes, five minutes after the sparrow was shot. This guy was in the yard, off to the right of the cameras, and flew away. Did not take him long to get his courage back up. had a hard time making up his mind whether he wanted to go into the neighbor's yard 
I think I've got a better pile of feed for them. This is a morning dove again. They're more of a tan brownish color. The Eurasians are a, a light bright gray. You can see just with the, the dead one laying there. And this guy came in. A little more speckling going on on the back region there in the tail. I've got a tighter tail more to a point when it's closed even in flight it's a straighter tail and the beautiful beautiful noises they make I really enjoy doves listening to them in the morning they blend in very well Got to deal with this guy. He just moseys on through. The eight year old Siberian Husky. That's the run of the yard. Uh, here's the shot placement. Upper body, center mass. He was already covered in ants less than an hour after being taken down. The dove here, I show the wrong side first. This is the exit wound. Whenever I get to it there. There it is. Bring it up to the camera now. There you go. I'm gonna flip her around here. This is a first year bird, I believe. Pretty small. And there's the entrance. Right there at the front of the wing. Then, here's the two of them lined up. In two hours, two birds past an evening. Have a good one. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. More coming your way.